friends welcome back to computer basic knowledge last video you might enjoy it about the photoshop in last video i just told about the basic tools of a photoshop and next uh, uh, today's video i am going to tell about the powerpoint the leftover tool is the design so let's uh, begin it click on the powerpoint and see the powerpoint window has been opened already i just made it a uh, one slide on that the design menu so you can see here design menu is in front of you now i am going to tell you how you can work with the design menu okay so already i taken one slide here and edited something here like in this video i am going to tell everything about the design menu or basically even everyone tells they knows about the basic powerpoint but while working they face many difficulties this video is made for that persons so please watch the video from starting to ending so then only you are going to understand what is design menu bar so in first uh, design menu bar you have to do the page setup so first you can see the preview of a page setup how the page is looking in the window you can see the blank uh, gray area is uh, on the left side and the uh, right side so just to see the preview you can see both side the black area is there so i don't want this black area on my window so how you how you can make this black area to look like a full screen so for that just go to the page setup click on page setup and then uh, click on the slide size for take a 16 is to 9 After taking sixteen is to nine, then uh, you can see here with uh, height uh, number number slides from and uh, orientation it is landscape and here is portraits. So just click on OK. Now you can see see the size of the screen has been increased. Just you can see the print uh, slide so once again. Now you can see the window is in the full screen. So like this way you can also. Make a window in the full screen by doing the page setup. Okay. Now next point is in the page setup is slide orientation. First is this portrait. Portrait will look like this, and next one is the landscape. The landscape will look like this. Now the window is in the landscape. Okay. Now next point, uh, next thing is that themes. There are different types of themes which you can apply on your screen. Like you can see. by clicking on theme the theme is going to apply on your screen you can see it just i'm clicking on all the themes and the themes are applying on your screen you can see it yeah and if you want more themes just click on this arrow bar and then you can see here more of themes are given just if you click that theme is going to select on your screen okay like this Uh, again once again if you want this thing you can just click on this and it will going to be on your screen so i will take this thing it's looking nice now another thing is that in this thing only you can just browse for the thing if any things are saved on your laptop or computer just you can click on this and the folder will open and from there you can just click and open it okay i don't have any things another is that you can save the current theme current theme this is the current theme just you can click on save it will going to save yes and another thing is you can change the color of the theme see here this is the blue color now you can see the color is going to change according to your choice like everything is going to change whatever you want whichever color you want you can change yes now next is the font for changing the font you have to select the area which you want to change so just i selected at the down part and click on the font and now you can see if you are clicking on this you can see automatically wherever i am moving the font is change yes this this one and if you want to take off a second calvary it is going to change in that okay like this way you can also do the changes in your data now next is the effects whatever the now the flow effect is here any effect if you want like then you can just choose it out okay now next is the background style what background style of a page you want see here 
different background styles are there. If you go to that, it, the same design is going to change on your screen. Yes, see. And more formats if you want, just click on that. And now you can see in the fill, here uh, different things are there like fill, picture correction, picture color and artist effect. So first I will tell about the fill. In fill you can use solid colors. Solid color like here blue now. Now I want red color. So you can see the background has been filled with the red color. Now if you want to change, change the color once again. See. Yes. Now gradient color. Gradient color means mixture of two or three colors. If you want to make a flat color, just see here. Go here and select the orange color. Yes. Mm. Now here it should be in the center, make it in the center, take it, white color and last it should be the green color. Yeah, let's suppose it. So here should be green color. Mm -hmm. Yes, and here should be orange color. Yeah, you can see. Now the tricolor is in front of you and if you click on close it will apply on the first screen on the first uh, slide so only and if you click on all it will apply on all the new slides. Okay. Now next is the picture texture. If you want to apply picture texture you can also see here different types of picture textures are there whichever you want this face one you want you can apply it. If you want other color, you can use it with whichever I like this one. So I will use right now. Another thing is that we can use our own pictures. Just click on the file, and uh, you can see here some of the pictures are in front of you. From these pictures, you can apply any picture. Like I will use this picture as a background picture. Just click on that picture and click on insert, and you can see. On the background, the picture has been applied. Okay. Another way, uh, another picture if you want to see, just click it back, right button, forward background, click on file, and then you can select this switch and click on insert. Yeah. Now you can see the picture has been applied on your background. Like this way, you can also apply the, your own pictures on a background. Again, click on the forward background and now from the clip art, if you don't have pictures, you can use the pictures from the clip art also. You can see this is the picture and uh, click on OK and click on close. You can see that picture has been applied on your screen. And once more, I will show you. Click on format background and click on pictures. And if you want to apply any other picture like uh, this picture is looking beautiful so I will click on insert and you can see that picture has been applied on the background yeah like this way you can also apply pictures on your background this one now another is the patterns different types of patterns are there you can change that patterns so if you want this pattern and you want to change the color color of the pattern you can also change yes like this way. Another color if you want, you can take another color also. Whichever, however you want. Like uh, other background color if you want to change. With the white, you can change the background color with the white. Yes. Now next is hide the background. If you don't want back side background, you can just hide it. Okay. So this much is clear. Now here I want the picture texture. So just click on this and select the picture texture. And click on close because I want for the first screen. So this much is completed. First I completed page setup, second theme and next is the background. So like this way you can also do the changes on your screen. Okay. Now you can see the print. Uh, you can see the slides. So, so this is our screen. So like this way you can also do the changes. Okay. So anything is left no nothing is left so thank you for watching and you can also do same way how i told you